Hello and welcome to this video. This is going to be the first video of 2024. Actually, before we get started, um, the video that was supposed to be the first video of 2024 is technically me sorting through my yarn. I still have that video, so if anybody wants to see it, here you go. I really need to organize my yarn. That looks like a mess, but it's an organized mess. Bye 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 bye. If you want me to edit it and actually try and make it good, um, tell me and I'll edit that video. This video is going to be me going through everything I've ever crocheted. I have it all written down here. I hope I have remembered it all. If I haven't, um, well, sucks to be me. I know the lighting is a little bit bad, um, but we're gonna have to deal with it. Also, I'm not going to go through this in a chronological order. I am going to go through this in a in category order. So I have six categories in total. I have clothes, I have accessories, I have amigurumi, miscellaneous, which is the smallest category. And then I have fails, because I want to show you guys all the times I've failed. And the last category is works in progress, um, which is the biggest. Let's get started. So, um, I'm gonna put some pictures over here to, let me, let me just give you some more space for that. There we go. I'm gonna put the pictures up here. The first category that we are going to go through is clothing. Oh my god. I just got a phone call. I don't think people want me to record this video. Um, first my mic disconnects and now I got a phone call in the middle of all of it. Um, Whoop, whoop. So the first thing that I have on my list, which is actually also one of the first things that I ever really made, I can't remember exactly when I made it, but I know I've had it for a long time, is this mesh dress. Um, originally, <laughs> I wanted to make a top. Um, clearly, it is not a top anymore. This is honestly not finished. If you look closely over here, there are still yarn ends sticking out. I surprisingly really like this dress. I wear it a ton, especially in the summer. Um, and I want to remake it because honestly the quality of it isn't good because this was one of the first things I ever really made. But I'm really proud of it and I've worn it to a bunch of things. Guys, that was the dress I wore when I got scouted. <laughs> scouted. That was the dress I wore when I got scouted to be in Copenhagen Fashion Week. I did something right with it. I've also worn it to the beach, and it was like a really good beach dress. But yeah, that was like one of the first things I ever really made. Now, we're going to go through some stuff I've made this year, or last year, 2023. <laughs> one of the first projects I ever truly finished in 2023 was this um, vest for my friend Melanie. I have a video on it, if you want to go watch that video. Um, but I made that. I made that. I really like it. I'm really proud of it. I want to remake it once I've gotten better at like crocheting. Um, it is a bit stiff. It's a bit thick. Again, I want to redo it at some point. Um, but so far, it's like I really like it and I'm really proud of it. And when people ask me, oh, what have you crocheted? That's like one of the tops I always show them because I'm really proud of what I've made. The first project I think I finished in 2023 for myself was... Not you, you're not finished. This guy right here. Uh, yes, there is ends that haven't been weaved in. We are not going to talk about that. But this shirt right here, this one, that I friggity friggity love, I love this shirt. Um, there's also a video on this if you want to watch it. That was like one of the first things I've ever finished for myself. Like, of course, I made the mesh dress. Why is that so hard for me to say? <laughs> um, I made the dress um, a, like a year or two ago, but like that is like one of the first time I finished something for myself in like once I've taken like crochet really seriously. And I really like that shirt. I haven't really worn it that much, mainly because like there's a specific outfit and a specific weather that works for it. Um, and also I haven't weaved in the ends yet. I really need to do that. <laughs> but it's really cute and I really love it and I'm so proud of the fact that I made it. Like look at this beautiful, beautiful baby. And I really need to like wear it more because oh my god look at this beauty. Uh, again, 
if you want to watch me make this, I do have an entire video of me making this. What else? What else have I made this year? Another finished uh, project that I made for myself. I know, I actually made something for myself and not for other people. Um, is this baby. So this is the front. I made this vest. This is the front. This is the back. It's a calcifer sweater vest. Look at him. I am so proud of this. I did actually film the entire process of me making this. Um, so if you're really interested and you want to watch that, I could um, make it into a video because I still have all the footage. I've been too scared to like delete it. I'm just not sure if I want to post it. But I did film the entire process of me making this. I do think in the future though there are some stuff I want to change about it. Um, I ran out of the yarn I was originally supposed to use when I made the bottom of this shirt. So I need to change uh, the bottom cuffing of this shirt. Um, and I need to change... And I need to make it a bit longer. But this shirt is so cute. And it's... I've worn it and I freaking love it. And again, one of the best things I've ever made. I am... Guys, I made this. I freaking made this. Now, the next two things. Let me just get comfortable on my chair. The next two things I'm gonna show you, I literally made in the last two weeks of 2023. And none of them are for me. All Both of them were like Christmas gifts for a family and stuff. And you will see in the future, I have a problem of making stuff for other people. I do that a lot. Here, we have one of the things I made this year. I made this beautiful argyle, is that how you say it? Argyle sweater, or like diamond pattern pattern sweater for my uh, cousin. Um, he has already seen it. Um, I gave it to him, to him while we were in England and he didn't have enough space for it in his uh, luggage so I have it with me and he's gonna come pick it up uh, on Sunday. Um, but he's already seen it. He freaking loves it. This beautiful sweater I made and I'm so happy about it. Um, look at the pattern and everything on it. The only thing I wish I had done differently with this one is that I, I, I wish I had made it out of thinner yarn because um, I I was like I have to make this before December is over and I started in the middle of December so I was like I have to hurry the fuck up so I was like I'm gonna buy thick yarn that will make it fast but I didn't think about how heavy it would make it as well and how boxy it would make it um, don't get me wrong I really like it I just think at some point I want to remake it in thinner yarn and actually with his measurements because I freehanded this entire thing without his measurements. Um, so it fits him like perfectly, but I do think there is some parts where I would have liked to like make it fit a bit better. But he loved it. I loved it. I am so proud of myself for making this. The other last project I made at the end of 2023 um, was this beautiful hexagon cardigan for my other cousin that also lived in England, so I brought it with me to England. So it's currently over there. Um, I made this for my beautiful cousin Emily. I love her so much. Um, and it is literally just a hexagon cardigan. Um, she loved it, I loved it. It was such a fun project. I am definitely going to make more hexagon cardigans in the future. It works up really fast, it's lovely, and it's like just a good- it, it, it was a good vibe overall. I think that's all of the clothes I've ever like finished finished. So with that being said, let's move on to the next category, which is accessories. The first accessory we're going to talk about- let me see if I can actually find it. It's this, um, can you guys hear that? It wasn't me, I promise. Um, I made this and I also I also made a video of me making this. Um, I haven't worn it since I made that video because um, the yarn is absolutely amazing. I love this yarn. Um, definitely need to buy more of it so I can make more projects with this yarn. It's like a, this yarn is Egyptian cotton. Uh, it's a mix between acrylic and cotton. Um, normally I only work with acrylic because it's cheaper and I'm really sensitive about like textures of yarn. I do not like how it looks on me though. Um, 
I don't like how high this one goes up here. I want it to like come further down. I wish I had a bit more shaving around the head. Maybe it came in a bit further. And I wish I had done some more for the ears because they are a bit like fluffy and weird. But talking about this one, let me show you the newest balaclava slash ski mask that I made. The thing I'm wearing right now is a black bunny balaclava that I put a bit more effort into, like you can see. Um, it's a bit hard to see because it's black, um, but I did make it like so it could cover all of my face. I brought it further down like I wanted to. The only problem I have about this is there's like no shaping around the neck, so it kind of just looks like I put a sack over my head and cut a hole and put ears on it. Um, which it like could be a vibe, but it's not that much of a vibe. I really like it though, I wear it constantly because it's really warm and it's so nice and I'm in love with it. Um, but this is the second balaclava I've ever made and I think the white one and this one I learned so much making them so I definitely think that the next balaclava that I make is like going to be perfect. I don't wear the white one because it's white and I don't like wearing white. Where did that hair come from? Definitely not from me. <laughs> but yeah, we have this one. What do we think? What do we think, guys? The... Also, I put the ears on like a bit lopsided, so I need to fix that because they are not on correct. So this one looks longer than this one, but they are literally the same size. They've just been placed differently. Yeah, let me free. Let me out. I'm back. I feel like I just got burst <laughs> by my fucking balaclava ski mask thing. I don't know what to call it. What is it? A ski mask? A balaclava? I don't know. The next thing on the accessories that I made is this one. It's a beanie that I made for my mom. Um, it's an, an alpaca slash wool mix, so I would never be able to wear that. My skin cannot handle it. It's not for me, but my mom loves it. So I made it for my mom. She wears it constantly. I'm currently making something else with uh, that yarn. But that will be under works and projects. Works and projects. Works in progress. Let's see. The next thing on my list is I actually made a beanie for myself. I can't find it. Um, I had it like two weeks ago and now I can't find it. And this is the problem. Because I, every year for winter I get like three new beanies. And I lose all of them. So I have to do it every single year. So this year I was like, oh, if I make my own beanies, um, I will, will be more careful with them. Apparently not, because I cannot find it. I made a black beanie exactly like the one I made for my mom. So imagine the beanie I made for my mom, but in black. Imagine it emo crying, listening to My Chemical Romance. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. <laughs> yeah, I can't find it, so I can't show it to you. I don't even think I ever got to take like a picture in it. If I did, I'll put it up here. But I made a black beanie. <laughs> Talking about me losing my beanies, um, I made a cat hat. I know, a bit basic, but I made a cat hat. And guys, let me, let me just... I loved... Yes, loved in past. I loved that cat hat so much. Look at how cute I look in all the pictures of it. I loved it so much. I decided, you know what, let me bring it on my vacation. So in October, I went to Edinburgh. Edinburgh, Edinburgh, however you say it, please don't get mad at me if I don't pronounce it the way you want me to. I love Edinburgh, um, so I decided, let me bring this beanie that I love as well, let me bring this cat beanie. And I was doing so good, like, don't get me wrong, I lost it on the street like five times during the week I was there. But like, every single time there was a stranger behind me being like, hey, you dropped your beanie, and I'm like, thank you, because I constantly put my beanie in my jacket um, when I don't wear it. And then it falls out, of course. Um, so every time a stranger was like, hey, you dropped your beanie, I'm like, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Um, and I was trying to be like aware of not losing it. Cause, oh my God, it was so good. It fit me perfectly. It looked beautiful. I still have the, all the yarn I used for it. So I could make a new one, but oh my God, I love that beanie so much. On the last day, literally the day we were supposed to go home, we, me and my friend, we decided, let's go to this park and just chill. And on my way to the park, I dropped my beanie. Wait, before that, we were, we were gonna meet up with some people we have met down there to say goodbye and stuff like that. On my way to them, I dropped it, but got it again. On my way to the park, I dropped it twice, but got it again. 
and when we were leaving the park, I realized I have dropped my beanie and I cannot find it. So, um, if you are in Edinburgh and you've seen somebody walk around with that beanie, please tell them to take care of it. I don't really mind that <laughs> my beanie is somewhere in another country and I don't know if it's being cared for. Um, I do hope though that somebody out there are like loving it because I loved it. Let's talk about the leg warmers I made to match that beanie. These two right here, they match my lost cat hat. Um, again, I still have to yarn if I want to make the cat hat again, but I've kind of been discouraged. At some point I will. Uh, I'll show you why I've been discouraged because I tried and it didn't work out. Um, but yeah. I made these beautiful ones right here. Tell me that you love them, because I love them. Um, I'm not gonna try them on for you, but I do have pictures. Also, on the original cat hat, I fucked up. I made it too short in the beginning, so I had to add some extra black on the side. So to match with this one, I have like a stripe of black on the sides. Tell me that isn't like so adorable. Um, and to match these ones and my lost cat hat. Seriously. Call... Um, 800, please give me my cat hat back if you find that. <laughs> to match these and my cat hat, I also made a, a hand warmer. I was supposed to make two, um, but after making one, I was like, I can make the other one another day. The problem is that I never, the another day never came. But this one, look at it. It's so perfect. I haven't weaved in the end, so we still have like yarn hanging loose. If that isn't literally. <laughs> the problem of every crochet ever. I don't know what it is, but yeah, I made this one. It's it fits like a glove um, Even though it's a hand warmer and look on this one I did the same thing here on the like inner side to match it to match my mistake um, I have the black stripe to match my mistake and I lost the mistake and I ended up loving the mistake but yeah, I made this. I need to make another one at some point. Is it gonna be now? Probably not. Am I gonna make it? Maybe. Hopefully. Probably. Because I really want to wear the, this one. It's so cute. And imagine me. I, I also really wanted to make a scarf that match the cat hat. So maybe that can be like a future video finishing the set. I think that's the last finished accessory I have ever made. I think so. Okay. With all of that done. Let's move on to the next category. The next category is Amigurumi. Um, so the first one I made for my partner at the time. We've broken it up. <laughs> yeah, I made, so my partner at the time, he did LARPing um, and he had a specific like outfit he would wear for his LARPing that was like his favorite outfit. So I decided, you know what would be really cute for his birthday? If I made a mini version of him in his LARPing costume. So I made this, um, it turned out really great. I think, I don't know if you still have it cause we broke up, but like for the longest time it was like sitting in his car and on display in his car. Um, but yeah, I made that for him. I hope he still has it cause um, he has pictures of my freaking hands when I made it. I wanted that shit to be done so freaking fast cause I wanted it to be done for his birthday. So I was crocheting nonstop. So I basically tore up the skins on my fingers to get that shit done. So if he has thro thrown that little baby out, I'm gonna be... I'm not gonna be mad because we did broke up, but like, dude, I spent so much time on that one for you. Show some respect. Yeah, I made that. Um, some other thing I made, I made that in like February um, of 2023. And around this br not the spring, at uh, the beginning of the summer of 2023, I made this keychain right here for my friend. It's so cute. There's a little crocheted star on it. There's a little kitty cat on it. And there's a little um, penguin on it. Because for my friend, I'm the, the friend I made it for, her favorite animals are a cat and uh, penguins. And her favorite color is purple, so I made it in a light purple. Um, and it's so cute and I'm really happy that I made it for her. She was so happy about it um, And connected to that Let me see if I have it down here because before I made the original little penguin. I made this one Look at how cute it is. This was my first trial of making the penguin. Look at how cute. He's technically ready to be put on a keychain 
because I put this little loop on him, this little loop-de-loop. -loop. Look at him! Isn't he just so adorable? Is he wonky? Yes. Is there like... Does he look perfect? No. Is he cute? Absolutely. fucking lutely Just a little penguin. A little penguin I have right here. Um, what else have I made? Oh yeah, for that exact same friend that I made that for, we have... Oh, just show the picture. My friend who I made that key ring for, she is literally my best friend of all time. I love her so much. So freaking much. I love her so much. Sorry, my love for her was through everything out of my mind. Now all I can think about is how much I love her. Mm. Love you. Um, yeah, for her, she is an artist. Um, she does art and she has this one character called Snat that she constantly makes. It's called Snat because it's a mix between a cat and a snake. It's a snake cat. It's a Snat! Um, so I decided for her birthday, it was supposed to be for her birthday, but she got it like two months after. I think I fin her birthday is in the beginning of the summer and I finished it in the end of the summer. So yeah, I made that big ass cat thing. <laughs> and it's a bit wonky. It was like my first big omigurumi project. Like previous to that, I had only ever made the thing I made for my ex-partner and her keychain and like these little things here, like small stuff. So that was the biggest amigurumi project I had ever done. Um, I think it turned out cute. It turned out wonky, but I think it turned out cute. Hopefully she thinks so too. I don't know. It's big though. It's like big hugging size, which is exactly what I wanted. I wish I had made it like a bit longer, like a body pillow. I think I might do that for her next birthday. I'm just gonna keep giving her like different versions of that one character. Hmm. Anyway, I made that. It's wonky, it's cute, um, it has personality, um, but it's definitely not a uh, five-star quality. Hey, it's, 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 it's a handmade, okay? It's handmade. Show some respect, guys. It's handmade. Um, the next Armigurumi thing that I made. This is actually the latest Armigurumi thing I made. So I, before I show this little baby to you probably, um, I have, I still have to make an owl, cause this one didn't turn out that good. Um, but I had to make an owl and I was like, I don't need a freaking pattern. I can make an owl without a pattern. <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. Um, this is how it's done apparently. <laughs> look at him. Also, while we look at him, I'm gonna just keep him over here. Oh my god, I love him so much. Look at that man. <laughs> Let me just show you some of the pictures I took while I made him. Oh my god. He is- he's adorable, he's beautiful, and I love him. <laughs> I'm so sorry dude, but you look insane. Um, if you're wondering what his name is, his name is Nemo, cause he is lopsided. <laughs> he's a bit disformed. But, um, it's Nemo with N-I-M-O. Cause we don't want- any, like, um, I don't want Disney to come after me, so this is Nemo spelled differently, but I named him after the fish, because the fish is, like, lopsided. No matter how qualified you feel, sometimes you still need a pattern, because otherwise you end up with this. Normally when I fuck up this much, I would have given up, but like this one I ended up loving so much. I don't even know what kind of bird this is anymore, but is he, isn't he just so cute? Oh, the last army. Oh, the last army groomy thing I have to show you. So when I made the keychain for my friend, I was like, "Oh, this is so cute. Let me make some other stuff." When I made the cat one, I realized the cat one could technically be used to make a frog. Look at this tiny frog. I made two of them. This one is a bit wonky because I didn't know how to end him. So if I pull out his tail down here. He's long. <laughs> this was my first attempt, and this was my second attempt. Imagine this on a keychain. Wouldn't that just be so adorable? I have this little frogman right here. He's absolutely tiny, but he's so cute. That might be the last Amigurumi I've ever made. I think that was all. So now we're moving on to the mis miscellaneous part. Um, I, as I've looked through my scraps here, I realized I have some more miscellaneous than what I wrote down. Let's talk about the stuff I wrote down to begin with though. I made like one of the first 
fully finished projects I ever made was this blanket for my sister. It's shit and I don't have a picture of it fully finished. Um, but that was a Christmas present for my sister and it's absolutely shit. I think she still has, has it, but I think she's like put it away on top of her like closet or something, which is like so fair, dude. Like I did spend a lot of time on it, but also um, it's shit. And out of like kind of the same yarn I made that with, I have made a basket where I have put my yarn it in. That basket is at my mom's place though, so I don't have a picture of it. Um, but I do have a yarn basket that I made out of thick yarn. Anyway, um, I made one singular flower coaster because I wanted to see if I could make it. I wanted to make it for a friend. Um, I can make it. Um, is it good? Absolutely not. Um, but yeah, I made one singular flower coaster and it took freaking forever because it's made out of really thin cotton yarn. But yeah, I made this. I did also wanted to show you guys my very first granny square because I made that not too long ago, but I can't find it. So imagine it. It actually turned out okay. Um, other miscellaneous item I have is that that calcifer sweater that I showed you guys, I was wondering if I should put like a mini calcifer on the front. So I made a mini calcifer right here. Um, I like it, it's really cute, but it turned out really wonky and weird looking. It doesn't look like calcifer at all. So I never ended up uh, putting it on. But as you can see over here, there is just like a tiny flame. But I was thinking, I was thinking about putting this one here instead. But. I don't think it reads as calcifer, so I just have a little flame and then you get full calcifer on the back. Now we're going to go to my fails. I want the first of my fails to be um, be this thing. I technically haven't written it on my list, but this, this little shitty ass piece right here was the first thing I ever crocheted. This little thing right here. In the beginning, all I did was like crochet tiny little pieces. I have this one as well. I have these ones. I haven't thrown them out or anything because I think they're really cute to like keep and look at my progress. Because oh my god, look at how wonky this is. Can you see the like indent and like the accidental decreasing and accidental increasing I made on the side here? But yeah, everything I did in the beginning was basically just make small little samples and I have a ton of them. Like I have so many little samples down here. Anyway, onto my bigger actual fails. Let's start out with the, the mess of these two right here. So I wanted to do shrugs, like those mesh shrugs that you see. And both of these ended up not looking that good, so I stopped working on them. It's a shrug, I never finished it. But here is my attempt at a shrug. Never finished it. Oh no, this is acrylic. This one is the cotton yarn. This was my second attempt at a shrug. And this one, I think I made it... Um, this one I tried to make a raglan version. But I didn't like how the raglan part turned out. <laughs> but yeah, this was my second attempt. I got a lot farther in this one. Um, but I still stopped. Because I didn't like how it was turning out. I do, this is one of the first projects I actually want to like get it right in 2024. I want to probably make like a shrug in this mesh pattern. This was one of my other attempts of making an owl. Like you can see, I gave up. What else do we have of fails? Um, I think I'm gonna quit the microphone. I don't like carrying it around. I'm gonna say it now, you've been seeing a microphone this entire video. It's not gonna, I'm not gonna end up using the audio. When I made this vest right here, in the video I showed that I previously tried to make a cardigan um, and that's the attempt I have right here. Like, in the video I pulled like half of this apart um, and if you want to know why I pulled it apart it's because this bitch would take forever to get finished. This was before I learned that you could like carry yarn or like just like leave a long strand or something. Oh my god, this is the back. Like, the front is pretty, but I would never get anything done with all of these ends that would have to be woven in. I have another fail. This was another attempt on trying to make an owl. I quit really early on in this one. One of the reasons why I kind of have taken a pause on trying to remake my beautiful little cat beanie is because this was my last attempt. That was my last attempt. Guys. 
I was like, I don't have to measure it. I know this. I know the size of my head. I don't have to measure this. Yeah, when you don't measure it, that shit happens. That happened. I don't know what the fuck this is, but it's definitely not a cat beanie. Now, we have a ton of failed attempts right here. Oh, here's the- wait. Okay, first of all, I found it. This is my first ever granny square. This was my only attempt of making the granny square stitch before I decided to make the gra cardigan. Um, before I go over to my biggest fails, because this is like a fail I kept doing over and over again, because I was like, at some point I'm gonna get it correctly. Um, this weather right here, my first attempt of making it was out of cotton yarn. And it's whatever the fuck. It's whatever the fuck this is. Don't get me wrong, I actually like it. I think it would have made a really cute, um, like, sweater. I think at some point I'm gonna make, like, sweater or something out of cotton yarn. But, like, it's a bit too stiff. Um, so I think I'm gonna have to use, like, a bigger hook size. And block it. Now, to my final fails. I have three. I wanted to make this cute little set. And I do at some point want to remake it, and actually, because I like the idea of this, I just think I tried doing it way before I had enough experience for it. Um, I wanted to make some cute booty shorts. Um, just so you know, these don't look like booty shorts, they look like underwear, also they are way too big for me. Um, but when I made this, also, look at this, isn't this just like such a waste of yarn? Because, like, I cannot take this. This is chenille yarn, and if I try to take it apart, it's not going to look good, the yarn. Um, so I think I'm going to have to cut it up and, like, use it as stuffing at some point. This was my first ever attempt at making... Okay, honestly? Now that I'm trying it on, it's not that bad. Guys, would I wear it? No. But honestly, was this, like, a kind of decent attempt? of making like some comfy, I wanted to make like a really comfy set of like shorts and a cute little top I could wear. And as, honestly guys, this isn't like that bad. It's definitely interesting. It is a fail though, cause it's not that good. Then I had enough yarn left over to make this top. Yes, this right here was supposed to be a top. Um, I'm not gonna try it on cause it literally barely covers anything. But yeah, like I said, I wanted to make a cute little set, and this was all the yarn I had left to make it. Wait, what? Oh my god, I keep finding fucking these ones in all of my, like, projects I've given up on. These ones. And I keep, I keep, I constantly need them. I found another one. Oh my god. Last fail I'm gonna show you was my second attempt on making a pair of shorts. I made this one a bit longer. I also tried to make a little bear to put on the side because I wanted it to be bear themed. So let me try these ones on for you real quick. They definitely go up further, which I like. Um, they give me kind of a diaper look though. Oh, but look at this guys, I added a drawstring. Because currently both of these have been fails. Um, but I think they could become like successes if I keep working on it. But yeah, this is a big ass fail for me. My last category. I know, guys, this has been a long video, but we are almost done. Again, everything I've ever crocheted, fails and work in projects included. It's a long video, I know. Before we take the last category, let's just take a little drink break, okay? Get your energy drink or water if you're like healthy or something. <laughs> Not me. Just let's calm down for a little bit. I feel like all of those fails really like riled me up and like ah. Also, my room is a mess now because of all of this. This video has literally made my room a mess. But it's not the fault of the video, it's my fault. Also, I'm down here because I'm trying to clean up my floor a little bit. The first of my works in progress is this one. This one is technically finished, but for me it's a work in progress. It's like um a wall hanging thing. It's like a garland. I don't know how to say that. But look, it has like little leaves on it and stuff like that. It's technically a work in progress because it's way too short right now for me to actually use it for something. But look, it could be up there in the corner together with my fake ones. But this one is crocheted. So yeah, uh, this is a cute little gar gar garland, garland, however you say it. Google help me out. It's a work in progress because I want it to be longer. The next work in progress is a little bit um, extreme. 
So remember that Groomy I showed you of the thing I made for my ex-partner? Well, that wasn't my first attempt of making that thing. This was my first attempt. Yes, this is a headless body. I never put a head on it because um, pretty quickly I realized I didn't really like how the feet were turning out. Um, there's this like weird lump on this side of it of its body. Not that I'm body shaming. I'm so sorry, dude. Um, and also I wanted I wanted his ones to have like black to have like brown pants on it. And it would be too bulky if I crocheted pants, so I had to like make the pants a part of the body. And this is not a fail, this is a work in progress, because at some point I want to finish it, I want to make some clothes for it, and I want to put a head on it. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with this one yet, but it's not a fail, because it's really cute. Look at it. This was my first ever attempt at, a, at Amigurumi. The next one is something that I want to get done really soon. Um, so in October, I... I wanted to get a lot of stuff done in October, but I never got a, got around to like actually finishing it. But I started on this ghost vest. So there's this little ghost on the front right here, a little cute one, a little ghosty. And then on the back, I'm currently also making a ghost, a big one. It's gonna be on the back. I'm gonna have to finish this at some point. The reason why I stopped working on it is because I had, didn't have enough yarn. I have bought enough yarn. So we're gonna work on this one at some point. I do think all of the stuff, or most of the stuff I show you in this like works in progress video or section of the video, I'm gonna end up making a video about me finishing them. Ghost vest is a work in progress. Another vest I have that is a work in progress, but it's so close to being done, but it's technically a work in progress, is this one. This is a work in progress because I literally haven't done any attempt of like um, weaving in the ends, I have to sew down this side so it doesn't flip up and I have to finish the bear on the back. Look at it guys, I made a bear! So I want to put like a little snout on it and give it some eyes and maybe embroider some ears on it. So again, another work in progress um, that I need to finish. But it's so close to being done this one, like literally I could finish this so quickly. Also I don't know if you've noticed like little theme of me liking brown going on and me liking little bears. If you haven't noticed it yet, let me show you some other works in progress. I am making myself a wallet. It's a little bear wallet and it's almost done. Look, I put little bear ears on top of it and I literally just have to finish this part going down here and then I have to sew on some stuff so I can put, um, so I can actually close it probably. But look at this little bear wallet! God, tell me this wouldn't be the cutest little wallet. Look at it! It'll be so adorable once it's done. And I have already made a lot of the stuff that's gonna go on it. I just haven't sewn it together. So, this is a switch cover right here. Again, I need to sew the button on. But this is going to be a switch cover. I've already made the round part for the snout. Um, then I just need to embroider some eyes and the nose. And I've also already crocheted little ears. Oh yeah, um, I have... This one is a work in progress that I'm currently working on. I haven't stopped it yet. I have it in my bag because I bring it around with me. Remember when I told you I am making something to match my mom's beanie that I made her? I'm currently making something else with uh, that yarn. Well... I am working on a scarf for her! It's going to be a wide scarf though, so it kind of takes a while. I'm making this. This is the progress so far. Yeah, I'm making this for her. Ugh, I don't like wool. I don't like wool. It's touching me. I don't like wool. Um, but yeah, I think... Like, I'm... It's not gonna be too long and then I'm done with it. I'm basically gonna work on this one until I don't have any more yarn left. I don't know... I'm still gonna call this a work in progress, but I do think at some point I'm gonna have to realize that it might gonna end up being a fail. So on Pinterest, I saw these cool ass pants that were made of like crocheted spider webs, and I decided I can make that. This is how far I am into my spider web pants. I do think I'm gonna end up giving up on them until I at least find a better way to do this. Cause let me just tell you guys, these spiderweb pants are taking a while and I don't really know how I'm gonna end up making them look good. 
Oh, I have another one, another work in progress. I am technically trying to make a Gravity Falls bag, where it's like the book, the Gravity Falls book, that I'm gonna make into like a bag. Um, I currently only have the front of it, but this is what I have. Um, I stopped working on it because I ran out of yarn that I needed to use. I'm getting tired. It's almost like I've been filming for like an hour and a half. Oh wait! I've been filming for an hour and a half. It says so right here on my clock. Dear Lord, help me focus. Let's get comfortable for like the last thing I need to talk about. <laughs> because the last thing I need to talk about is one hell of a fucking project. It's been a working project for like almost two years. It's a blanket that I'm making for my mom or like a bed cover or whatever you want to call it. I'm making it for my mom and oh my god guys, it is one hell of a project, okay? Like, it's not easy. It's... Honestly thinking about it makes me tired. I need to finish it soon though, because again I've been working on it for almost two years and I really want it to be done. My mom just moved, so I would love for it to be done so she could put it in her new home. But oh my god, guys! Making a blanket this big takes forever. Also, it's made out of like tube yarn, so it's really freaking heavy. I don't even have it with me right now because it is literally at my mom's place. Because um, I have so much yarn left that I would not be able to like have it in my place. Sir, stop! Boobity boobity out there. Don't do the doot doot with your car. I'm trying to film. Don't see the oh. Don't do the oh oh. Sorry, I'm talking to the cars out on the street. With all of that being said, I do think that's like everything I've ever crocheted. Like there is some small stuff I could probably show you, but it would like be useless. Like I have a bunch of small stuff that wouldn't make any sense for me to show it. Um, but other than that, I think I have now shown you everything I have ever crocheted. That was a long ass video. What? Long ass video to start a long ass year. You know what I mean. A year is a long time. I've gotten so tired. Like, hopefully I've edited this down a bit, but I have been filming for like two hours. So I'm so tired. I don't know if you can slowly see it on my face over the time. If you made it this far to the very end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you kinda enjoyed it thank you so much for watching i'm gonna go take a nap again 2024 i really want i really want things to like i know i have a lot of plans but i have plans every single year and half of the time most of them don't work out but at the very least i made this video you have watched this video and i hope you liked it and i hope you are ready for 2024 well i'm gonna go crazy and make a bunch of cool stuff Oh my god, no, it's time to take a nap now. It's time to take a nap now. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Um, tell me about maybe... Oh yeah, tell me about like the favorite things you've ever made or like some of the biggest fails you've ever had with crocheting or knitting, whatever it is you do, or if you do art or something like that. Tell me about it. I want to know. I just shared all of my stuff with you. Share a little bit with me. Bring it back to me. Give daddy some sugar. Uh, ignore that I've ever said that. Please. Please don't ever tell anyone I've said that. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. I am tired, but I hope you are doing good. Okay. Bye. Bye bye bye.